Hey creators, are you wondering what is normal growth for a new YouTube channel? Like what metrics to watch and to know if you are on target for growing your channel or if you're lagging behind and need to adjust your strategy for growing your YouTube channel? Well, in this video, I talk about the metrics that you should watch and also benchmarks for those metrics to let you know whether you're on track as a new YouTuber to grow your channel successfully or if you are lagging behind. Okay, let's jump right in. Number one, subscriber growth. You want to watch how many subscribers you are gaining each week or each month on YouTube. If you are gaining between 30 to 100 new subscribers each month, then you are growing at a steady pace as a new YouTuber. So this is a good average to be within, the range between 30 and 100 new subscribers each month. If you are posting consistently and you are optimizing for SEO. Now, if you are seeing only about 10 to 20 subscribers each month, that means that there are a few things that you might want to adjust. You are below average, and that means that you might want to look at your niche. Is it a marketable niche? And number two is, are you targeting the right audience? And number three, are you using SEO properly? And lastly, number four, are you posting consistently? Okay, next up is views per video. So you want to aim for about 50 to 100 views per video once you upload it. Number three is watch time growth. So watch time hours. This is imperative for you to get monetized on YouTube and join the YouTube Partners Program. What does it mean? It means you need to have 4,000 public watch time hours on your videos in the past 365 days in order to get monetized on YouTube. If you are posting consistently, say one to two videos per week, every week, you should aim to hit this target between six and 12 months. It can take a little longer if you're posting less often than that. However, I would aim for six to 12 months. If you find that after three to six months, you're still struggling, struggling to hit maybe 500 to 1000 watch time hours, you might want to reconsider some things about your videos. Are they too long? Are they too short? Are they engaging enough? Is the topic good? All of those things. How could you infuse a little bit more of your personality or authenticity and keep the engagement on your video? videos higher so that you can get more watch time hours. Watch time hours are simply a matter of adding up those minutes from each video that you post to get those watch time hours to get near 4,000. So if you are at the three to six month mark and you don't have 500 to 1,000 watch time hours, I would consider looking into your videos and trying to test different things. Next up is click through rate. Click through rate tells you how often people are clicking on your thumbnails and titles and actually getting into your videos in order to watch them. A good click-through rate in the beginning is between four and 10%. To give you an idea for me, my click-through rate right now is around 5%. I'm trying to get it higher. I would like it to be closer to 6%. However, when I started, my click-through rate was around three to 4%. So if you are around the 2% mark or lower, you definitely want to reconsider your thumbnail tactic or your title. I would consider doing some research in your niche and looking at what other creators are using as their thumbnails. What kind of style are they using? Are your thumbnails too busy? Is it hard to read the, the titles on them? Um, what about your titles? Are they emotionally charged? Is it clear what your videos are about via the title or the thumbnail title or the thumbnail picture as well? So you wanna make sure that all of these things are solid. And if you are below 2%, it has something to do with your thumbnails and your titles because that is where click-through rate comes from when they click on your videos based on your thumbnail or your titles. Click-through rate is based on the amount of times people are shown your video. It's called an impression. It's impressed upon you. How many times they are shown your video on the feed or in suggested, those types of things. How many times those impressions are shown versus how many times someone clicks on it. That is the percentage. So if yours is around 2% or lower, you definitely want to reconsider the thumbnails that you're using, or if you're not using thumbnails at all, start to add them. Audience retention. So this is the amount of the average percentage viewed of your videos. You want to keep this around 30 to 50%. So 30 to 50% is a great target for having average percentage viewed of your videos. If it is lower than 20%, then something needs to be addressed. Either you need to make more engaging intros, have a stronger hook, and also have content that is engaging throughout and that you don't lose people due to too much fluff in your videos. Next, let's talk about upload frequency and consistency. I recommend posting one to two videos a week consistently in order to grow your channel at a nice pace. Irregular posting like once a month or once every other month will discourage subscribers to come back to your channel because they don't know when to expect your videos to show up. So they won't be 
able to go to you often and depend on you for the information that they need. Therefore, I recommend one to two videos per week consistently for many months in a row in order to build your channel successfully. So here are some really quick tips to help improve your metrics so that you can grow your channel faster. Number one, optimize your videos for SEO with better keywords. Number two, experiment with thumbnails and titles for better click-through rate. Number three, engage with your audience by replying to comments. And number four, if possible, post more consistently. Growth takes time, but it will happen as long as you continually strive to improve and make each video 1% better than the last. Wishing you the best, and it looks like YouTube is recommending this video for you to watch next, and I trust YouTube's judgment. Okay, thanks you guys, bye.